Good morning, everybody. So, I'm gonna tear into a piece of one of these, uh, one of these pieces of Fort Payne chart from Tennessee that I just got recently. This stuff is really nice. One of my favorites. You, Missy. Oh, I know. You just go up there and lay down. You can't be down there. <laughs> Quit. Quit. Quit messing with me. All right. Let's see what we can do here. I guess she wants to be down there. Boppers noodle. Maybe I'll try to get a couple pieces off here that I could make. Maybe make a couple other small points out of it. Get some bigger flakes. There's a crack right there. Stuff is tricky. You got to kind of work work around cracks quite a bit, but there is nice solid pieces. And it flakes so nice. So, so nice. Some of it kind of has a uh, petroleum, petroleum smell to it. This piece here does big time. Smells like used motor oil. Well, I need to get rid of some of this off the back here. Maybe I'll drop this edge down and try to remove this, this hump here. Do that by working my way down this edge here. That'll leave me a, an angle down like this to come back this way. Steepen that up just a little bit more. Now I should be able to hit above the edge and drive a piece off right here. It might take more than one flake, but give it a little grind. Really nice piece of rock right here. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll bring this edge up and come back across this way. Crack right there. Kind of ruined my plan there. I need to investigate this crack right here and see what's going on with that. Yeah. 
about it for the crack. Didn't go very far. With this stuff, it really does pay to go ahead and get rid of the cortex because there are a lot of surface cracks and little cones and stuff going in from the surface on this material. We're just rolled down the rivers in the past, I guess. Achilles tendon. You're being nasty today. Being honoring.
spinning around a little bit. Antler works really well with this material too. Stuff loves antler. So what I did there is kind of work, this side was flat. I haven't ran any flakes on here. This is I just worked my way all the way down to that side. So I've got good convexity over here. I'll maybe turn and work back on this side a little bit. Downsize my bopper a little bit. Tip thinned out pretty good there. Now I'll get back here and work on the base. Got a little crack damage right there, so if I hit that, it's gonna fail. So, need to just trim that back. If I can get past that little place there. So now this thing's thinning out, I need to start using this end-to-end -end support and pulling it in a straight line. 
or it will snap on me. Forcing in little areas off there. Start bringing in the edges here a little bit. Just had a message come through on my phone. I need to jump off here and reply to it. Not sure what it said, but seeing who it was from, and I need to probably respond here. So I'll stop this one here. And uh, maybe finish it up on a part two, but I wanted to give you all a, a look at this material more than anything. It's pretty killer stuff. It'll do me a Lost Lake or planning on doing a Lost Lake out of it. So we'll see how it goes. If you guys want some of this stuff, just shoot me an email at bridesarrowheads at gmail.com. I got a bunch of it. Fort Payne Church from Tennessee. Thanks for watching, guys.